Hi everyone, here's the Bookemis once again. Today I'm reviewing The Ice Storm by Rick Moody, which is a book I actually read several months ago, but originally didn't review because it wasn't 100% my type of book. I had to give it some thought, and I've had uh, like more than one chance to give it some thought in these months and to read a few essays about it. And uh, my opinion on it hasn't changed too much, but I do think it may very well be the book for you and that there is lots to love about this book. This is one of those books you probably know if you're interested in fiction that deals with comic books or with popular culture in general. You know, uh, those writers such as Jonathan Lethem, Michael Chabon that discuss uh, escapist fiction popular culture a lot in their works. There's some of it in The Ice Storm too, let me explain. First and foremost though, who is Rick Moody? He's actually kind of a big cheese within contemporary American fiction and besides being a writer, he has also written a lot on uh, realism within literature, on his experimental fiction, postmodernism, and what comes after. And he also contributed a short story to Max Winnie's Mammoth Treasury of Thrilling Tales, which is a collection of genre short stories by a variety of all stars writers. I can't recommend that collection enough. Do check it out. Uh, that collection was the first I um, the first time I read Moody. He contributed a, a short story that feels very uh, um, Philip Dick ish, I'd say. It wasn't one of my favorite stories from the collection. He may not be 100% the writer for me. And the other time I met him before reading The Ice Storm was in the pages of James Wood, How Fiction Works. Uh, because actually James Wood, who is a major literary critic, this is uh, Rick Moody, because Moody um, was quoted saying that, you know, realism nowadays needs a kick in the ass, that realism needs to be, you know, experimented with and, you know, uh, told to fuck off and such, and Moody, uh, no, not Moody, sorry, James Wood doesn't agree and he, he disses him a lot for that, but for all of, J of Moody's uh, this lack of realism, this, the ice storm feels very, very much like a realist novel. It is 100%, it is, it falls very precisely into the realm of literary fiction, even more into the subcategory, subgenre of, you know, adultery fiction, um, whose master probably is, still is John Updike, or arguably maybe Jonathan Franzen, so you know what kind of book we're talking about. If you like those authors, if you like the way they talk about the quirks and the manias of their characters, and if you like the way they structure their plots to inflict the most possible amount of misery onto their characters, which is not, uh, it sounds like I'm this thing moody too, but I'm not. I mean, uh, there, there's lots of fun to be had with that kind of book. If you enjoy that kind of book, this is very much the book for you. Uh, when it comes to uh, comic books, which I mentioned before, or popular culture, the way um, Ice Storm discusses that and uses comic books has to do with its structure, which is probably the most interesting thing about the book. Uh, this book is about a family of, of four people. A dysfunctional family, all of them are more or less horrible, all of them hate each other, and the son within this family is a huge nerd and loves comic books and in particular Fantastic Four comic books. And the, the, the various parts of this book are structured as if each one of them is an issue of the Fantastic Four. Each of the book's parts follows the parallel lives of these four characters who are themselves in some ways, you know, the, um, the literary fiction equivalent of the actual Fantastic Four, so that, you know, uh, the dead is the thing, and so on and so forth. There's lots of fun to be had with this structure because, you know, you never get too annoyed with a single character because quickly enough the focus of attention moves to another one and then another one, and then you're back with the, the old one in another part of the book. And so the book keeps going, you ne it never gets too involved with the life and the misery of a single person. And in general, Moody has a lot of fun, I think, showing how the life of different people living in, you know, different parts of town, uh, um, like going about their life in very different ways, can interact and can influence each other in the most unexpected of ways. And these small plot twists are sometimes hilarious, sometimes macabre, sometimes uh, uh, disgusting, but there, there's lots of fun to be had there too. It, it, Moody is a very good orchestrator when it comes to the novels plot. The issue I have, or at least the thing I feel compelled to say about the, the way comic books are used 
to structure this novel is that this is not exactly a novel that praises comic books or that shows their artistic value or potential. Far from it, it actually makes a lot of fun of comic books, especially superhero comic books of the 1970s, of their absurdities, of their problems with continuity, of their camp, of their characters, and in fact it only, you know, uses comic books as a simile, as, you know, some kind of alter ego for this family in order to show you how absurd the life of this family is, and most notably how absurd the, the times these people are living in actually were. This is a very much novel about the 1970s, about this absurd decade where everyone was experimenting with, with sex and drugs, and there was, you know, all these kind of cultural revolutions that eventually amounted to nothing. It's a novel that makes lots of fun of that particular age in American culture. And yeah, the characters in this book are all absurd, and both the main characters, the four members of this family, and the people they interact with, with they are all neurotics, and they are all miserable, and they are presented, if you ask me, in a way that makes it quite hard to empathize and sympathize with their mania, but makes it very easy to see how ridiculous their ideas about themselves and the society they are living in actually were. Uh, that's not necessarily something bad. Again, this is very much a book about its time, and it is a book, uh, a wonderful inquiry, it's uh, a great inquiry into, you know, uh, family relationships when family life goes awry. Uh, there is also, of course, the um, a few moments of lyrical beauty, which are pretty much compulsory in this kind of book. If you read Uptake, again, if you read Franzen, uh, they are there all the time. I don't very much care for that kind of stuff. There's nothing bad with it, you know, um, some people don't care for jump scares in horror films. I don't care very much for epiphanies in literary fiction. Um, it's all good. It wasn't exactly the book for me, but again, it may be a good, a great read for you. It's a very fast read, uh, again, on this front too, I think that the novel structure does it a big favor. Uh, the novel never gets, you know, never stops for too long on a specific aspect of this character's misery, but keeps moving on and the book never gets too annoying. Um, it's written in a beautiful style that, again, at times becomes very lyrical. I have to admit, sometimes I was like, okay, what the fuck does this mean? There's, uh, there's one passage that stuck to my mind uh, where a character is said to be digging his own grave and holding it like a pearl to his chest. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, what the fuck does that even mean? But overall, it's very well written, and in the, you know, in the focus of its inquiry, in its determination to consider the, you know, the least pleasant aspects of family life, it has the determination of a, of a true classic, of a book such as, I don't know, a George Eliot's or a Flaubert's novel. It may be the book for you. If you like the authors I've mentioned, I've compared it to, do consider reading it. You can have a great time, and let me know if there is any Rick Moody novel that it's not exactly this kind of novel that doesn't fall into this same genre that I should definitely check out. I definitely have to know more about Rick Moody. I'll be reading his books in the, you know, in the next few months, and I'll let you know what I think about them. Thank you very much for watching this video. As always, guys, let me know what you think about the ice storm, and bye, guys.